Right, we're here with Paul at PWM now. Paul, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. It's good great to see, to see you. you. Yeah, yeah see lovely you. stuff. So I, I always like stopping by the PWM booth because you always <laughs> have some fantastic machine Something that's an, sort of halfway on its way to being a synth. I like doing that. I like showing how the sausage is made. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think people want to see this stuff. You yeah, know? totally. And this is a Frankenstein thing. Yeah. So this is not a final by any means, but this is bringing back the Oscar synthesizer sure. for the very original design. So the okay. original schematic, all the original components, surface mount though, so obviously using modern techniques but at the analog signal path, even the firmware is the same. Oh, wow. So over here, if I can point to this area here, you see these four chips? We got those off eBay. They yep. are 45 years old. That second one in there, which is a finger to point, is a Z80, and that's running Chris's original assembly language code right. for the Oscar. So this is a recreation of the Oscar. The complete well, ground up yeah. rebuild. Yeah. Basically calling it the Oscar rebirth. Yeah. And uh, the idea is to do a limited run of these and I would happily put this side by side with an original Oscar and prove that it, it sounds identical. Amazing. It's going to be fantastic. Um, limited run, so if you want one, then uh, go to onepwm.com yep. slash contact us. Get your name on the list. <laughs> Get your name down, or if you're here at the show, we've got a sheet where we're uh, capturing people's names. Um, fantastic. And I believe it is, it is making some noise currently, isn't it? Shall we give it, it a go? Let's, let's have a try. It let's have a, a try. It's, it's a Franken Oscar. It's an early stage. Yes, so build. early stage. But here we are. Here's some, here's some noise. So we just turn, up, turn it up a bit. Using some arpeggiation. There we are. So it's a little taste. It is doing, doing my, something. Uh, doing my Pink Floyd impersonation. Amazing. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's the original Oscar. What can I say? It's really so, cool. Um, so if you want to put your name on the list and and put your put your money where your mouth is, yes. how much is it going to cost? Uh, we think about two and a half thousand pounds. Okay. It is complete recreation. Um, we're sort of figuring out whether we want to do joystick or wheels. I think we might yep. do wheels, but we'll, we'll see. We're sort of asking people what they think it should be. Right. But uh, it will have this control panel will be the about that big, so it will be as spaced out as the original. All the layout is exactly the same. All the buttons are the same. The functionality is the same. It even has a cassette in and out interface wow. on it <laughs> for loading course. and saving the patches. Believe it or not. It won't have USB. Yeah. Well, it doesn't currently have USB. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to be authentic, you might well, as well be authentic, that's right? That's right. Exactly right. Exactly right. Uh, the only real change really is we'll take the power supply out and just do do these boards in a modern way. Yeah. So it'll be way more reliable than the old ones. Sure. And um, you know, if, if you want to buy an old one today, then that's they're changing hands for four or five thousand. Mm. This will be half that, and it'll be way more reliable. Fantastic. Bang up to date. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it. With a, with a panel on at some point. Paul, yeah. thank you very much. You're welcome.